Hello, good morning, welcome to my channel. Today is, I don't know what today is, the 8th and the 9th? I'm not even sure what day of the week it is. <laughs> but I do know that there's more protests coming this weekend. It's Veterans Day and Armistice Day. And I even uh, got my poppies. I got the forget-me-not the other day. I don't know why they weren't selling the red ones. And then I have my uh, red one that I save. I keep it in my bathroom hanging on my, my mirror. <laughs> I guess to always remember uh, the free United States that it has been and that it's slowly eroding away to. I know everybody has problems with the homeless in their town. My town, no different. <laughs> we do too. I seen a video this morning that started out with a, a homeless veteran picture. We, we all see homeless veterans around. We see the cardboard signs. And I just had a, a little conversation with a guy on my uh, Facebook, my local Facebook, about why. You know, he says that the help is available to the veterans. Okay, what is the problem then? If they have the help... Why don't you help them buy their own veterans campground where all the homeless veterans can go live? Do what they want. I don't know. But I do know that watching the videos about the migrants being put up in four-star hotels, three square meals a day, free motorcycles that they don't even have to have uh, license plates on. What? What? I do not agree with. I, I feel bad for the migrants and the situation they're running from, but we need to send food down there and let them figure out their own problems because we're going to have big problems here pretty soon. You can't, ho you can't house 100,000 people. You can't house all of these migrants and invite them into our country, just come across the border Give them money, motorcycles, motel rooms, food. While well, right down the road, somebody that's actually served in our military that signed that check for their very lives is sleeping on a sidewalk somewhere, but there's all this help available for them. I would like a, vet uh, I would like a veteran somewhere that's getting all this help to make a video and let the rest of us know what is the problem? Is the problem, honestly, uh, they're mentally ill? And, uh, you know, they, okay, if they are, give them a place. Give them a place. They deserve a place before anybody that comes from another country. If I went to another country, do you think that they're going to give me a fancy motel room, three square meals a day, a free motorcycle, and I believe cash? Name me a country around the world that will give that to me. The taxpayers can't afford that. Look at all of our homeless people. You know, what happened to the olden days when you had people that were not able to cope with society? We put them somewhere for their own safety and for society's safety. And the people that could, but just couldn't get by on a job, they would get welfare so they could get a cheap old apartment and just exist in their home doing what they do. I was just thinking the other day, there doesn't seem to be a lot of drug houses in my town anymore. That problem got solved, but all of those people moved into the parks and the streets and under the bridges. Whatever the case, they are American citizens. They should come first. And, it, and you know what else I think? I think if they really wanted to put a, a stop to this drug war, which is probably a lot of these problems, why doesn't our government, United States of America, take our citizens, American-born citizens, put them in a fancy hotel, manufacture the drugs, manufacture the fentanyl ourselves? I'm sure we have laboratories that can do it. Supposedly, it's so easy to do. That's going to solve a lot of the drug problem. At least the American drug problem. The cartel ain't going to be breaking their neck to get up here. 
the people will be in a place where we can enjoy our streets in relative safe, safety again? Those just seem like common sense uh, answers to a big problem for Americans that's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger along with the gender affirming care. It all goes together. Why? <laughs> Why do I see uh, queers for Palestine and uh, gays for Gaza signs? feasible for you to think you guys can join, you know, join for join forces, be comrades. And then on one of the protest um, people that was talking was an Indian. And uh, they've joined up with them too. And I'm like, my gosh, my whole entire life. I feel like our country has done nothing, our generations that had nothing to do with, you know, the previous generations. We, were, we weren't out here uh, playing cowboys and Indians. We weren't out here cowboys and Indians. Um, and, and we've done everything. I think that the United States has done so much stuff, so many things to get rid of racism. And I don't feel like a racist. I feel like the world has just gone really weird. Six months ago, I did not have a care if somebody was transgendered. I thought... Well, grown-ups, you know, whatever. But I've learned so much more since then. And, and, it, and I draw the line at the children. You can't be telling them that this is an option. You know? You cannot be telling kids that that's an option. I've watched my son go from a child to a man <laughs> during the pandemic, and I can't imagine taking that away from him. All of his friends have, you know, they've matured. They're grown-ups now, and he would still be an Im immature little boy, um, you know, doing dress-up. I don't know. I just think about it. I try to do a parallel of my life to somebody that has a transgendered child, and I can't imagine how hard that is, and I hope that it, you know, I hope that I'm completely wrong. I hope that I'm completely wrong, and it just goes all, you know, all good and sunshine and happy and rainbows and lollipops and all that good stuff. I'll gladly be wrong, but I'm just so scared that I'm not wrong. That's why I want to speak out about it. Who knows how far this is going to go? And I also heard, in, and I also heard that in Canada, the um, the wait time to get on the assisted suicide is very very short. Um, I don't know. There's see that's just there's just something wrong. Just around in the air there's something wrong in the air around the world it seems like it, around the world and uh, I, I hope that things can get straightened out because I do feel bad for the norm you know the just everyday people in Palestine that really don't have anything to do with this I'm sorry but see I feel like if we all don't speak out on in our own country we're going to be in the same situation we're not going to be able to, to sit here and say how we feel about things and, and have the ability to, to move about freely as we like. And I think people really, really, really need to think about that. It's serious. It's so serious. I just feel so much like all this stuff is related. Who ever thought, who ever thought that they would see LGBTQ team uh, protesting for um, Hamas? Who would ever thought? Did you ever, who would have ever imagined that one day there would be people protesting in American streets and streets around the world that, that they're the oppressed after they, 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 they raped, murdered, pillaged the cities along Israel's border and everybody feels sorry for Palestine. I was reading an article about uh, Israeli s soldiers would blackmail homosexual Palestinians to get information because the Palestinians were scared to death and they did not want it to get out. So that, you know, LBGTQ crew, you need to realize you're being told things that are not going to make society better or easier or nicer. It's not working so far. Who's it nicer for? Who's it better for? Is the, world, is the world happier, more joyous, more gay? It's more gay, but it's not more joyous. It seems to be going further downhill every dang day. 
I'm trying to remember what life was before these horrific things started happening. And it makes me worry for 2024. I'm just trying to raise awareness and I'm hoping to plant a seed. This, all this stuff is just does not make sense. And that's what people need to pay attention to. Why are they doing the things they're doing? Why after, uh, Muslims, Islam, Palestine, Gaza, whatever you want to call it. Why after they attack Israel early in the morning, innocent people, babies, children, old people, American, uh, Philippine, Israel, they didn't care. They just were going for, they were just going for. Why is our vice president, I'm trying not to get this shadow on me. Oh, oh, right there. Why is our vice president in there saying that they're going to make more bills for Islam phobia when the innocent Israels were massacred in the morning in their beds? And, that, and, and we're supposed to stand up for the massacres. I went back and watched some other Palestinian protests from the past and, you know, they, they were all pretty mellow. You know, everything just came to a head and exploded. And I don't know the whole story behind it. But I do know that they're pissed off. They're pissed off. And the gay people are right there with them. Like they've been best buds. I can understand the Palestinian people protesting for their homeland. I'm an American. I would protest for my homeland but I wouldn't leave my homeland. That's the thing. There's no place else to go. All these people are coming here. You know, it's not so easy for us to go to other places. I don't think maybe it is, but I don't want to leave. My grandparents came here in the 1600s. They helped settle this land. My grandparents fought in all the wars and we're giving it away for free as a gift. We're inviting. The, and the people that you're inviting from these warm countries are sleeping um, a lot. There's big things going on in Chicago over this. Oh, boy. And boy, oh, boy, does it get cold there. And they're, they're sleeping in tents. But at least they've given them tents. I don't know what their homeless do in the winter in Chicago. I ha honestly have no idea. I've been just paying attention. Well, I've been paying attention to the homeless around, but not like Chicago. I would watch like Philly. Uh, the fentanyl, um, um, trank people, you know, and then of course in my own town, or if we go to another town, it's everywhere. So why, why do we have so many of our own American born citizens who I'm sure their grandparents fought for this land too? Why are we inviting people from other countries here, instead of sending them rice, milk, you know, send them some dang supplies, help them get restarted in their own land. Don't tell them to come here and get restarted. We, we aren't even taking care of ourselves. Yeah. So anyways, that's it. Bye.